So hello everyone, welcome to Codin. In this video, we will learn about how can we create a simple snake game using C. So let's get started to coding. Firstly, we will need a IDE. It can be any of your favorite IDE. I am using VS Code for now. And we will have to create a file which is main.c. And after that, you are ready to create your first game. So let's so let so let's get started. We'll start by including So we have included conu.h standard without.h standard library.h and unistate.h which you will be needing. After that we will declare variables i j i will going to keep 20 and the width 20 you can customize it or by yourself. Then we will declare two variables called game over and score. Then we will declare x, y, fruit x, fruit y, and flag, which will increase the uh, points for the user. I will also will be giving comments so you can understand after looking it at the very end now we will declare a function to generate the fruits within the boundary so for that we will declare our void data type and the name of the function will be setup let's set game over to zero then we'll store the width and the height. X equals to height divided by 2 and Y equals to width divided by 2. Then we'll create a go to where the name of the first will be label 1. fruit x will you will use the random function percent is 20 then we'll use if fruit x is equals to 0 we will go to label 1 Let's create label 2, same as this one. Fruit y equals random. If fruit y is equals to 0, then we will go to label Let's create so the score to zero. This will be the function. Now we'll create a function to draw the boundaries. Boundaries. We'll also create a void data type. Let's name it draw system. Ls <clears throat> for i is equals to zero, i is less than height, i plus 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 
we will be creating a nested loop here for j is equals to 0 j is less than width j plus plus if i is equals to 0 or <coughs> i is equals to width minus 1 or j is equals to 0 or j is equals to height minus 1 we will print asterisk it can be anything it can be asterisk or anything else you can choose it on your own then let's create a else statement if i is equals to x and j is equals to y print f we will print 0 or uh, else if i is equals to root x and j is equals to root y we will print an asterisk and let's create an else at the end we will print a blank space we will print a new line character here now we will print the score after the game ends we start by print f score equals percentage d press x to put the game we'll create a new line character over here then we will declare a function to take input which will be void input if then we will use the switch case is We are just going to take WAST as the input command.
break and finally case x2 closed again we will set it game over to 1 and finally break now as we have created a function for user input as well as for generating the boundaries now we will declare a function behind each movement function for the logic behind each movement let's set the name of the function to logic we will start by using the sleep function Sleep 0 0.01 and we will use a switch place case 1 y minus minus <coughs> it is going to move the character or the snake in this game plus plus okay let me put it over here it looks quite confusing these three y plus plus these four will happen if the user doesn't input anything then we will declare we will find if the game is over if the toy game is over if x is smaller than 0 x is greater than height or y is smaller than 0 or y is greater than width it is going to check if any of this condition is true which is if the snake hits the width and if the snake hits the boundary or if x or y is equals to 0 then it will be game over equals 1 then we will check if snake reaches the fruit then we, if snake reaches the fruit then we will update or increase the score if Make which is the root, then update the score. We will use it as if x equals equals root x and y equals equals root y. We will use level 3 as a go to function root x equals to random percent 20 equals to 0 we will go to label 3 Then we'll check after eating the fruit above 
द न्यू फ्रूट वी विल जेनेट अ न्यू फ्रूट आफ्टर द प्रिवियस वन इज इटन और टेकन आई थिंक वी विल बी जेनेरेटिंग अ न्यू फ्रूट इन द गेम तो After eating the above fruit, generate new fruit. Uh, let's create another go to which will be the level four. Fruit y equals to random percent is twenty. If fruit y equals zero, we we'll go to level four. And the score will increase by one. I mean ten. Let's set it ten. You can increase by one, two, any of your liking. After this, we will declare some driver code. Void main. Let's create the main function. Um. Let's set two variables. N and N. Now we will call the function to dig to create the boundary or generate the boundary. Generate boundary. Uh, I will just set up. I guess so. Yeah, set up. We'll call the set up function. Now until the game is over, we will call the functions to take the input and continue the game, which we will be using while function while loop while not game over. We will call the draw function, the input function. And the logic function, yeah. Draw input and the logic, and this should be it. Let's save it, Control S, and let's check if it runs. Yeah, as you can see. The score increases every time I eat the fruit, which is the asterisk for now. And if I die, the game just closes. Let's try again. W A S N D is okay. If I crash into the boundary, the game will end. And my score is zero when in the starting, but when I eat the fruit, it increases by ten. Yeah, and when I press X, the game closes. So that's it. This is a simple snake game using C. And thank you for watching.